today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite matcha latte. If you're not familiar with these, they are delicious and I'm going to show you how to make it sugar free. So it's really healthy. It's a nice source of protein and caffeine for a little mid afternoon pick me up. This is the matcha powder that I like to use. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below this video and you don't need very much. So it's a small packet. I use between a half a teaspoon. This is one teaspoon that I'm going to put in this latte. And then the other ingredients are just a squirt of this liquid stevia, um, cinnamon, as much as you want. I usually do about an eighth of a teaspoon, one teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of almond milk, and then one cup of regular milk. Now this almond milk is unsweetened vanilla. You want to be sure that you get the unsweetened kind, otherwise you're going to be putting a lot of sugar in this otherwise healthy drink. The first step is going to be heating up our milk, so that's what I'm going to do first. milk up before. Sometimes I like my lattes extra hot, so I will heat them up again after I cook it. But this will be good for now. So we're just going to pour our milk in first. You do need to use a stand blender for this. You could also use one of the little handhold ones, but when you're using powdered substances like matcha, that's not going to blend in very easily and you're going to be left with a clumpy powder in your latte and that's not going to taste very good. Okay, so we have our milk in there. Now a teaspoon of the matcha powder. Just dump that in. About an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. A teaspoon of vanilla. Now, this is pretty concentrated sweetener, so I don't put very much in. I usually just do about a squirt. You'll see in other videos I might use a little bit more based on how sweet I want the drink. When you're mixing hot liquids, just be sure that you have a little gap here at the top of the lid, and then we're gonna turn it on. All right, that didn't take very long. We have this little homemade cup that I made. It says world's best mom for my mom. And we're gonna pour that. There's a little extra in there. This makes obviously about a cup and a half. And we're going to try it out. It's really good. The froth on the top is delicious. You could put some whipped cream on top of this if you want it to be extra decadent. Now, if you like this video, if you like this matcha latte, and you want me to do more cooking videos, put it in the comments below. Be sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends who also like matcha lattes.